Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. It's Wednesday, it's our fourth Sidra, our fourth Aliyah of this Torah portion of Shalach Lecha, which means send on your behalf. And it's taken from Numbers chapter 14, verse 26, all the way to chapter 15, verse 7. So let's tackle the t- first two verses of chapter 15. It says, Adonai said to Moses, tell the people of Israel, or tell B'nai Israel, the children of Israel, when, when you have come into the land. See, they're already doubting that they're going to get the promised land. Oh, we can't. There's too many giants. Oh, they're going to eat us up. Oh, we're just grasshoppers in their sight. This didn't bother God. Their their moaning and belly aching and complaining and their fear and doubt didn't bother God. He says, tell the children of Israel when. In other words, it's going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. When you have come into the land that you are going to live in. You're going to live in this land. Why? Because I promised it to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are their descendants. And if you, this particular generation, isn't going to obey, that's okay. You said, oh no, our children will be slaves and held captive, yada, 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 yada. Well, you know, I'm going to flip the tables on you. You saying your children are going to be slaves and captives, they're going to be the very ones who conquer this promised land. So when you have come into the land where you're going to live, which I am given to you, the God of this universe, your God, the God who defeated the Egyptian pantheon. So do you think that the Canaanite pantheon is going to be a problem for me? Nah. And, uh, and want to make an offering by fire to Adonai. He says, you're going to worship me in this land. You're going to worship me, and that worship is going to be thanksgiving for for me bringing you into the land. So have no fear. Have no doubt. Listen to what God says. When God says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. You know, he may not do it through us. He may do it through another generation, and we may fail him because of our lack of faith, but he will find somebody who will carry out his work, his will, his way, and obey his laws. So, you know, God is looking for people who will be loyal to the soil, trust in him, believe in him. So, you know, there's that proposition, that, that conditionality of when, when, you know, it's it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. I, I'm going to do this. So uh, tell the people of Israel, when you have come into the land which you are going to live, which I am giving to you, it's a gift because I already promised it to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, and want to make an offering by fire to Adonai. You are going to worship me there. So let's let's read this passage and let's take this passage and let's apply it to our lives and let's let's remember and 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 think about all the promises of God in His Word. Because is is the arm of the Lord too short to save? Is God a weak God that He can't uh, keep His word or keep His promises? No, He's kept every promise and much much more. He's gone beyond our expectations. Our job is just to obey, obey. And not to fear, not to doubt. So let this passage be an encouragement to you. But don't be left behind. Don't be like the first generation that came out of the Exodus, doubting and fearing. They didn't get anything from God. They didn't inherit the land. It was their children who they thought would be sacrificed to these Canaanites, that the Canaanites would wipe out. It was that second generation that they feared uh, would be destroyed. They were the very ones who took up the armament and who obeyed the Lord, who went in fearlessly and conquered the land and slayed the giants. And God will slay the giants in our life if we will but just believe and obey. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and God bless.